So after I was told I couldn't have the microscope ran up my nose and stuff, I just told them that I was wasting my time. And apparently they was wasting their time because they couldn't figure out what was going on with me. So I told the speech therapist and then the next time I went to the ENT, I told both of those that I was done. Whenever I had my baby, they could send me somewhere else. So after I had my daughter, they did refer me out to Wake Forest in Winston. And they ran the same test that Thomasville ENT ran. But they seen that my vocal cords didn't touch. I had a gap. So I hate when they had to run that scope up my nose and down my throat. That is the grossest thing and it feels so weird. But they do it every so often and I still hate it to this day. But they figured out that I had something called spasmatic dysphonia. They done speech tests. And I still have to do these speech tests once or twice a year. I hate having to go to those things because they do it when I can't hardly talk. And then after I get Botox, they'll send me back like a few weeks later. Or after they think that my breathiness has gone away. And they do the speech test again. I had to speak through a microphone. I have to sing. And you don't realize how hard it is to try to talk and sing when you can't hardly talk at all. I hate talking on the phone when I can't talk. I hate going in stores because people want to look at me weird or they want to make fun of me or just act stupid and just i don't know how to explain it they're just they think you got a disease and or you're sick and then when covid hit it was really bad and then but they do 